space to breathe in a world growing crowded, time to think in an age that worships speed, friendly people in an impersonal century, people of many cultural heritages working hard and having fun in big country, Manitoba. A Viking heritage gave the Icelanders a name for their first Manitoba settlement. Sailing up Lake Winnipeg, they chose the site and called it after the home of the gods in Norse mythology, Gimli. To pioneers from the small country of Iceland, plagued for decades by a series of calamities, this broad open country with plenty of fresh water was the promised land. Not the wildest visionaries among the early settlers foresaw the Gimli fishing boats replaced by pleasure craft, or Icelandic maiden on deck in a bikini. Viking tradition, blonde hair and blue eyes dominate. And in Canadian tradition, a dash of perhaps Scottish produces the lovely Midwestern brunettes. Almost every Manitoba festival contains a paradox. Each one is uniquely Canadian and yet features very old recipes from lands far from Manitoba. At the Gimli festival, some of the food is prepared in the Icelandic way. And the conversation among the old timers talking local events is Icelandic too. <laughs> they might have settled in countless other areas of the province and found an environment equally as attractive. Manitoba's lakes have never been counted. After 100,000, the tabulators gave up. A festival and a superb Manitoba beach. As Grandad says, Iceland was never quite like this. The copper and gold of Flin Flon staggered the imagination of prospectors, and the dances of Flin Flon at the Trout Festival could boggle the mind of a Fred Astaire. Space to breathe in a world growing crowded. Time to think in an age that worships speed. Friendly people in an impersonal century. 
people of many cultural heritages, working hard and having fun, in big country, Manitoba. A Viking heritage gave the Icelanders a name for their first Manitoba settlement. Sailing up Lake Winnipeg, they chose the site and called it after the home of the gods in Norse mythology, Gimli. To pioneers from the small country of Iceland, plagued for decades by a series of calamities, this broad open country with plenty of fresh water was the promised land. Not the wildest visionaries among the early settlers foresaw the Gimli fishing boats replaced by pleasure craft, or Icelandic maiden on deck in a bikini. Viking tradition, blonde and they brought with them sunflower seeds and began a new industry, a new festival, and a new contest. Are we set for the sunflower seed eating contest between Miss Manitoba and her two princesses? Are we ready? One, two, three, go! You just hear them sunflowers crack. The demure approach. But can it win a prize? Ah, oh, we have a winner! We have a winner! <laughs> Among the liveliest and most varied of Manitoba's festivals, the Sunflower Festival features a low German play especially written for the event, motorbike races, a swing-in, and a pie-throwing contest. All this, a parade, and for the Sunflower Queen, a crown. officially placed the crown, and Francis, congratulations. Thank you. I've never been so happy. <laughs> riders on excellent Manitoba roads. Destination, the Holiday Festival of Arts at Nipawa, where visitors can enjoy courses in drama, music, dancing, and painting. Even painting the town. I'm going to the Sponsored by the University of Manitoba, distinguished artists instruct at Nipawa and help open up new worlds to the young. I'm not really showing just a, like a hand up in the air, something like that, or with a group sitting like that and just the instructor. Mm -hmm. See, the problem that you have here is that everything is too much on its own. They don't relate, but you've got a line here. You've got a mark here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's going right through you. Now you take that. Look at this one. See, even just with the rub that you put in here right now, just like that. Dancers, painters, and actors all practice for showings and public performances 
at this unique art festival. You follow the mighty red hat to Morris. If you want to see a chariot race, a man wrestle a bear, or one of the wildest rodeos in the West, the Manitoba Stampede and Agricultural Exhibition. battles staying aboard this conveyance, the other half's avoiding an annoying puncture. most rugged individualists of all gather to watch and compete at the Trappers Festival at the Paw. The Trappers Festival is action-packed outside and indoors too. This is the festival that tests the skills of the outdoorsman. Try bird calling without a store-bought bird caller sometime. Determined men and determined animals, a heritage of the Canadian North, vital even in the nuclear age. St. Boniface boasts the largest French-speaking community outside of the province of Quebec. The Manitoba French reflect the inherent artistry of the French people. Tonight, the Entrepide Choir performs in the sophisticated environment of the Centennial Center, which houses a planetarium, the Museum of Man and Nature, the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra, and the internationally acclaimed Royal Winnipeg Ballet. Selkirk Interlake Fair is held near Lower Fort Garry, under giant trees planted by the first Highland settlers. There are times at the Selkirk Fair when it's hard to remember that Loch Lomond isn't just across the way, or that the children of the Highlanders have never in their lives set foot on Scottish soil. Robert Burns said, My heart's in the highlands wherever I go. Each year at Selkirk, 
one of the largest highland gatherings on this side of the Atlantic, confirms, on this day at least, Robert Burns' words. Four days and four nights, the rhythm and whir of the Thrasherman's reunion fills the air at Austin. The old-time thrashing machine parade chugs and clangs by every day, with a rodeo every night, and it's a lot of fun. era meets with modern times at the Thresherman's Reunion. Oh, and, uh, I have a cousin that lives down here at Langroot. Langroot, oh yeah. He's down visiting with him. Oh. He got in on this. Happy as I can be. <laughs> oh sure. <laughs> well, what, what, are you, what are you doing in Alberta? Farm. What oh, farm? Well, is that a cattle country too? Yes. Yeah, it's mostly mixed farming. Mixed farming. Yeah. Well, how are things out of here? Uh, in our location, it's pretty dry. Pretty dry? Mm -hmm. Do you have any rain yesterday here? Afternoon. Oh, it rained hard here yesterday. Afternoon. Yeah, I thought so. About four o'clock. Right? Yeah. Old-fashioned stooking used to be a thorny problem at harvest time. Today, it's only a festival contest, but still a thorny problem. Ouch! Drink! There's thistles in here. Western girls can tie up a goat nearly as fast as a man. Cowboys get cream for their coffee the hard way. A wild cow milking contest. Carl, my name's Slim. Slim, man. <laughs> Kids are still fascinated by trains, and the threshermen provide a little beauty.
Summertime in Dauphin brings visitors and internationally known entertainers from all over to Canada's National Ukrainian Festival, one of Manitoba's most colorful events. that tell about Ukrainian folklore. Bread and salt, traditional religious symbols. Most ancient of the Ukrainian folk arts, dating back to pagan times, the intricately designed eggs symbolize the renewal of life and the rebirth of hope. Each egg requires six to 10 hours work if you're an expert. The eggs are given at Easter as tokens of friendship. Most people head for the grandstand variety show. Manitoba, Canada's festival country. fresh breeze blows across those Midwestern nights. The pressure's off. The world slows down. There's time to think and space to breathe among people of many cultural heritages. A 
time for meeting, a time for fun, a happy time for home folks and their visitors in Canada's festival country, big, friendly Manitoba. Manitoba.